So the next uh, extension is something called Fredo Corner. Um, it's something that enables you to very quickly put uh, a rounded edge or a beveled edge to a component. Um, so it's really useful for things, well, mainly like worktops is what I, I use it for. So um, you can find this extension on um, the extension warehouse. Uh, the um, developer's called Fredo6, and he does loads of really useful plugins, although you will be redirected to the Sketchucation website to download um, what you want. And it's a bit of a pain to download, to be honest, because you have, first you have to download something called um, the Fredo library or something, whatever, but um, I'll do another video on that because it can be a bit frustrating. But once you once you have it downloaded, it works great. So let's say I've just added a worktop here, and as you can see, it's just uh, basically got a square edge. Um, for rendering purposes, it's nice to have a little bevel on the top and sometimes the bottom. It just reflects the light better. So if we had to do this with the normal SketchUp tools, uh, we'd probably use um, the Follow Me tool, or well, actually the Push Pull tool. So let's say we drew a little bevel on the top here. We could get the Push Pull tool, and then we could just sort of push it like that but there's a much easier way if we use um, Fredo corner so all we do is um, click into the group and then uh, select either the face or the edges you want in this case if we select the face it will do sort of all four sides um, as a bevel uh, click on this green little icon here then you here you can change the bevel parameters like the offset I'm going to leave it at two mil otherwise it will be um, well, that's what we want, but if let's say we change it to four, you'll be able to see like these guides will change. So I'm just gonna change it back to two and then click on generate geometry and then click out the group. And there you can see we've got a nice little bevel on the uh, edge of the worktop. So just gonna undo that. Um, and let's say instead of a bevel, we just wanted a rounded edge. You click on this yellow icon here um, again, it's uh, two mil. Let's make that a little bit more. Let's let's make that four mil, and then click on generate geometry. And then if we zoom in, you can see we've got a nice sort of rounded edge on it. But for rendering purposes, I prefer the bevel. Um, although it's simpler looking, um, it takes up less um, time when doing the rendering. So let's. Um, Go back we will just make that a bevel again so another good use for this tool is for me when I want to make a waterfall end to an island and have a nice mitre join so let's uh, let's have a look at this worktop here um, where I've got an end panel so the worktop thickness is 20 mil so let's just get rid of this end panel and then we will just make sure that the worktop's overhanging 20 mil. Just quickly hide that and we'll create um, we'll create an end panel for the island. So again, let's make that 20 mil thickness. So we just typed 20 mil there. And we'll just bring it to the edges. Sorry, this uh, wall cabinet's getting in the way. Just close that for a second. So uh, let's just make this actually to be flush with the overhangs of the worktop, which is what we want. Okay, I'm gonna group that little uh, side panel and hide it. So what we need to do then is create the mitre joint. So it's from this corner at an exact 45 degree angle. Um, so it's 20 mil down and 20 mil across. Um, but a really quick way to do that, treble click into the group, select the edge that we want to change, um, bring up our Fredo corner little toolbar click on the green icon, and then we want to change the offset to 20. So type 20, 
and then generate geometry and you can see it's given us a perfect 45 degree angle uh, from the corner. So let's just come out of that a second. And then um, this side bit of worktop, the waterfall end, we'll raise it up so it's flush with the top of the worktop, hide the worktop, and then again, click into the group, select this edge this time, click on the green icon, generate geometry. So now you can see we've got a nice flush mitre angle or mitre join to the waterfall end worktop. So obviously we want to make that the same color. So I'll just click on the worktop color and there we are. And if you want, you can put a bevel on each, um, on each worktop just to make it a little bit more realistic. So um, that's a very quick, simple overview. Uh, these other icons here, the subdivision and the chop corner, um, again, fairly straightforward, but I won't go into them now. I'll make another video uh, to explain a little bit more in depth what they do, but I don't really use them much when making my kitchens.